Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, we're going to be going over the Architraz attunement questline. And by that, I mean how to get the key for Architraz. Now, uh, there's a few things that we want to go over um, before we get into that. But be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you are enjoying my content, my videos. Everything you do helps me get out there, helps my name get out there, and helps me to continue creating videos um, and just sort of helping people with all these uh, random things inside of the game. And it's what I love to do. So anyway, let's get into the video. So first off, um, I would definitely recommend having the Attune add-on. It really helps you with all of these um, things and... It just makes it really nice and easy for you to um, be able to sort of see everything. I'm not sure what is wrong with that right there. Usually it pops up with the entire list of things that you can sort of do, but it was not doing that. So we're going to do a quick reload right there. Um, but anyway, it really sort of just helps you guide you through this. So this is what it sort of looks like. So we go to the Architraz and it shows you all the quests that you have to do in order to sort of complete this quest chain. Now that is going to start right here in area 52 by talking to, uh, another stalker right here. So you start there and that's going to be the quest that you do. You have to get this artifact. Um, and then you just pretty much follow every single quest slot that he gives you um, and it leads one after the other after the other into a lot of these quests so it's just something that you can do super awesome um, now the reason for doing this one it's rep with the Shatar it's over 3,000 rep with them and you're gonna be doing Botanica as well as Mechanar and Architraz which you'll have to do for your um, other attunements as well so it's just something to make sure you do now as you can see, I'm already honored with Shatar, and I'm level 68 on my Druid. So how I did this is when actually when you turn in Aldor or Scryer, um, Fell Armaments, or Arcane Tomes, it will give you Shatar rep up to uh, 5,999 out of 6,000 into friendly. It took me about 30 or so to do that. I would just monitor your rep. You're definitely not going to hit the Exalted or... Um, even revered mark with Aldor before you hit that friendly mark so it does give you a decent chunk of rep and I would highly recommend that you do this that way after doing these dungeons you will be revered so that if you need heroic um, Mechanar uh, Botanica or Architraz you will in fact um, be almost revered by the time you do all three of these uh, dungeons and it just gives you a lot of rep and XP um, obviously, if you are not a druid, you can only do this final parts of the quest chain at 70. So, because I'm a druid, I have flight form at 68, allowing me to get to the instances. But there is currently no other way because summoning is still off right now. Um, if they do allow summoning another storm soon, um, I believe in later phases they do, um, you can in fact do that. But, you know, this is where you start it, and we're going to go ahead and get to that, guys. So, I'll see you when we get there. Alrighty guys, so we're here for the first quest, Pinta Thauron, I don't know, some demon name, but he's nothing to be concerned of. I'm the 68 druid right here, I'm killing him pretty easily, um, yeah, so just be aware of that, and you know, nice, simple, easy way to get him. You kill him, you loot him, and then you can head back to Area 52 for the next part, so nice easy simple just like that so i'll see you guys after we turn this in and get to the next part Whoop. alrighty guys so we're here um you have to kill a bunch of these exodus guys um you just need 10 insignias from them after you have those 10 insignias you can then turn it in and start the next thing this quest line is actually repeatable right here and it yields a lot of rep for the consortium if you want to just farm them out get some consortium rep that's up to you um, but yeah, you just come here and you sort of fight all these guys, um, get the CPS, and then you are good to go. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna do that, we'll get 10, and then we'll go to the next step, see when we get there. Alrighty guys, after you come back here to Area 52, you turn around, you head back to exactly where you were, and you have to kill Warp, uh, Raider Nassad. And so it's pretty easy to go do that. You just fly right back over, fight him, get him, get his item, and then you come back and turn it in. He's just another, uh, I think he's 69, uh, normal dude. He's not an elite, so nothing too challenging for you to do. 
Anyway, we're gonna go do that, and I'll see when we get back. Alrighty, guys, after you turn in the quest, after defeating him, you're then going to have to fly here to do the next one, which is request for assistance. So you have to just fly over here, do that. Now, you will have uh, two other quests, which are uh, Rip Fang, uh, Lynx Pelts, and 15 Ivory uh, Bells. You can't do those quests if you so want to. It's sort of up to you, um, but they are not a part of this attunement. It's just something that you could do if you wanted to. Anyway, we're going to head there, and I will see you after we uh, do this next part here. Whoop. So after you go to the Ecodome, you will then get a quest called uh, Rightful Repossession. It's 10 boxes over here um, at Mana Forge Doro. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do, um, and yeah, pretty uh, nice. You'll just see these boxes. There are a lot of mobs here, so you gotta be careful. Like, even as a druid, you aggro a ton. Like, I could go stealth, I can do flight form, but you still just have to get 10 boxes. So, after that, then we will come here and we'll do that, and then we will head to the next part. I will uh, see you guys after we uh, sort of grab these boxes and head there. If you're looking for what these boxes look like, they look like this right here, this little uh, um, bluish box. But anyway, we're going to grab these and then we are going to uh, finish the next part. So I'll see you after we do that. Alrighty guys, so we have made it back here. We're gonna turn in this quest here, and then we will get the next one in this chain. Um, can't hurt to always just grab better stuff. And then there's an audience with the prince, which make, takes us up here to uh, the prince. Um, pretty easy, you just go across this little bridge, and then you fly up to the top there. If you do not have flying, there's an elevator, which is on the reverse side of it, so it's a... Uh, it's a fun time getting there without flying, but, you know, druid hacks, so we're going to head up here, turn this in, and then head on to the next part. So I'll see you when we get there. Alrighty, guys, so after our audience there, you get the first triangulation point, um, and that is going to be over here at this island. Um, the I don't think, I can't remember if there's a bridge over there or not, but, oh, there is, we can see it from here. But, um, you do just have to come over here, head to the triangulation point, and then you, uh, click this button, and then you'll turn it into to someone else. There's gonna be three of these, and then we have to go fight, uh, something, and, uh, yeah, it'll be pretty easy and simple, so I will, uh, see you guys after we, uh, do this triangulation point. Alrighty, guys, so we've landed here. We're gonna use triangulation point one. You just use the item, you do it, and then you just have to walk to this spot, and it should complete it. We were kind of right on top of it, so... I don't know why it's acting so weird. But we'll recast it, and then we'll run to there. But it just makes an arrow, and then you sort of just have to run to it, and there you go, it says completed. And then we're going to have to go to this uh, ethereal camp right here, turn that in, and head onward. So we're going to go do that real quick. Should be pretty easy. Alrighty, guys. So we're coming here to discover the second triangulation point. So as a druid, pretty easy because you can just fly right up here. And then you can identify it, and then you just sort of walk up, and it completes it nice and easy for you. Um, as you can see there, my friend here, he did not get credit for it because he hadn't used his item. But once he does that, he just walks up, does that nice and easy. And then we have to only go to the other side of this bridge to turn it in, and then we'll have triangulation point three. So I'll see you guys after we get through that. Alrighty, guys. So after we um, finish that second attunement, we have the final piece, which is the full triangle which is this crystal which is going to be right up here now this elite is pretty difficult um but two people can definitely kill it he's not like uh, one of those five man elites that you sort of encounter quite often here it's just a two-person one nothing too difficult for you guys to do so i would definitely just recommend coming up here and yeah pretty easy so i will see you guys after we get there Alrighty, guys so we're up here we're fighting uh Cthulos. he is the elite that you uh sort of uh, run into and yeah he's not too bad as you can see 
we do have three people, so pretty pumped for DPS, so he wasn't that bad to kill. You loot him, and then that is the final thing that you need in order to uh, complete your triangle. You head back to that dude, and you have some juicy little RP that you run into. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely head there, show you guys that, and I will see you when we get there. Alrighty guys, so we're turning this in right here. Then we have a special delivery to Shatrath, so here is the juicy lore that you get to watch. Uh, it's Ambassador Solanus and some uh, Kalthus people. You do not have to watch this, you can just teleport there, but you will get Blessing of the Naru, and you can get some pretty freaking nice pieces of gear, like this Expertise, Strength, Agility, Stam, just really good bear taking legs. And now these guys decide to attack, and so you got to, uh, you don't have to defeat them, but it definitely, uh, helps with the RP of it all. I could have just harped there, but I didn't. I figured I'd show you guys that, but, you know, if you're not into that, then that is what it is. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go ahead there and do that, so I'll see you later. Alrighty guys, so after you talk to them, um, you get how to break into Arcatraz, you get the two shards, which are from Botanica and Mechanar, um, you also get Blessing of Adal, which is pretty freaking nice, um, super good to blast out some quests and whatnot. Um, but we're headed to Nether Storm, we're gonna go do those two, and then we will come back to a doll, you turn it in, and then you get the final one, which is to complete the Architraz, um, and that one gives you your total, uh, net rep gain of 3,000 Shatar rep. You also get Consortium rep this entire time you're doing all these two. So that's something to keep in mind, but anyway, the most important part is the key. Um, but we're gonna go ahead back to Netherstorm and do that part. So I'll see when we get there. Whoop. Alrighty, guys. So after doing Botanica and um, the Mechanar, we have come back here. We're able to turn in this quest from Adal. We get a nice belt here, as well as you know some other choices if you're interested um, or other things. Then you do that, and you have your Architraz attunement complete. And then you can go defeat Harbinger and get a amazing resilience attack power neck or spell power or healing. It's a really good just PvP neck, but it also gives you a ton of experience as well as some Shatar rep. So you get that key, you get the XP, and you know, honestly, one run of that, turn it in, I might actually ding to 70. So pretty freaking amazing rep. This quest line is so worth doing, guys. Um, definitely would recommend it. But anyway, we're going to uh, sort of head there now and finish this up. So I'll see you then. Whoop. Alrighty, guys. And that's it. We have finished it. We finished our arc right there. We got the Harbinger of Noom. Now, you technically don't have to go back there and finish it. You did just complete it with the key. Um, but it is a really nice quest. And if you're a druid, it's almost a whole bar of XP. Um, who's not 70 and then the additional 1000 rep so it's just really really nice I would definitely recommend doing it and it helps so so much but anyway guys that's it for this video I hope you enjoy it and until next time I'll see you later bye bye if you made it to the end of this video thank you so so much for watching it truly means a lot to me if you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video please 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 share it with them it helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can so finally thank you so much and I hope you have a fantastic day goodbye